Good morning and uh, welcome to Liverpool, the Big Shave on the 4th of April 2016. My name is Steve Farragher and I keep looking down because I'm playing around with a bit of this. This is Arco Soap. It's what it looks like when you've used it for a bit. Gradually work my way down, taking bits off. We're going to take that much off today, little blob. Um, we're going to show you how to do shave and we're also going to have a little bit of a catch up really because uh, the last video last week the first one I've done in 2016 and realised that I've actually not been doing many videos and, and the people who remind me of the people who left the comments uh, there seems to be a bit of a, a demand for people from people to ask me to get back to what we were doing and uh, so I've responded a little bit to that demand and we're going to oh hang on it's got a Got all misty, what's happened? Who are you? Have I breathed on the lens? Let me just check. Ooh. Strange. Strange. <whistles> right, I'm not going to stop the video, I'm just going to see if we can solve this problem. Looks like the lens has missed it up. Or the auto, no, it's the autofocus. The autofocus has come back into play again. Who are you? Because I'm having some sort of free counts. So, uh, a lot of people have responded, which has been good. And uh, it's, it's inspired me to, to do a few more. So, I'm doing one this week. I won't be doing one every week or every day or whatever. But uh, I'm going to be doing a few more than I have done over the last 18 months. Just, just because people, it seems like people want them. Okay, it's as simple as that. Okay, and I'll just do a quick run through the tools and the uh, materials. To the, oh, no, it's got a bit mad. Now that little bit of soap has produced that much. Hang on, put my finger over that. It's produced that much. Uh, okay, we've got the big shave scuttle. It's got hot water in it. You see it coming out there. Should have a little stopper in it. And just by swirling it a few times, you get tons and tons of soap. So I'm going to leave that to one side. <coughs> while I continue. Um, in case you don't know who I am, my name is Steve Farragher. I live in a place called Liverpool, which is a city in the northwest of England. It's a lovely city and um, it's, it's undergoing a bit of a transformation at the moment. It's becoming very popular with tourists, so we're getting a lot of uh, Spanish, Italian, American tourists and uh, it's great. It's great. Um, so, shaving wise, we're going to be using this little beauty, which is a, a 37C. It's a Maker 37C. It's called a slant, and you can probably see why it's called a slant. It actually has a slanted head on it. One side is is longer and lower than the other. Okay, and that reason it does that is it it, it actually presents itself flatter to the face. Gives you a very close shave. It's got a small handle on it, so it's very manoeuvrable. And um, we're going to go through the process of shaving this morning. We're going to through the, go through the three. Oh, look what I found. Uh, we're going to go through the three pass method. If you don't understand what the three pass method is, it's incredibly simple. And once you master it, you get a lovely close shave every day. Uh, your first thing you have to do is find out which way you you facial hair grows, which in my case is downwards along the jaw that way and down the neck that way. Once you've mastered or once you've identified the direction of your hair growth you can shave. Your face shave is always with your hair growth so you're not disturbing or annoying your face. Um, the second one is always a cross and the last one is always against so you go up down the jaw, down the neck. Um, doing it this way you don't put as much pressure on your neck. You also do not aggravate your neck at all. So this is Arco, this is probably the cheapest shaving soap in the world. Uh, you can see a little bit of it goes a very long way. And uh, in future shavings, future shaves, we're going to be using different types of soap, but today we're going to be using arc. I'm just going to have to tilt this, to, that's better. Let's see what I'm doing. So you can see, the idea is to cover most of the face 
or the shaving area with the soap. Rub it in if you want, up to you. And the first pass is always with the growth. Got a brand new Astra Platinum blade in. It's my favourite blade. You can see there's absolutely no tugging, no resistance. There's a decent lubricant on the face and there's a nice sharp blade and there's a really good razor. So what more is there to go wrong? Okay, so here we are, Liverpool 2016. What's happening since the last time I was on? Well, it's it's that time of the year again, it's April. Uh, I am standing in the local government elections for the Green Party. So vote for me if you're in Kensington. If you're not in Kensington, you can't vote for me. Uh, local elections in Liverpool is for the local council. So I'd like to stand as a councillor in the area. Um, I live in the area and I work in the area and I'm quite committed to the area. So I'm quite unusual for councillors in Liverpool. They usually belong to a political party uh, and are on some sort of political career path. Um, I suppose I am on some sort of career path, but uh, no, not a party political one, even though I am in a political party. I'm more interested in representing the local people, being a local person and representing people. They didn't spot that though, I did a, a, a cross the face shave. Now this is the final bit of the shave. Um, so what's happened over the last couple of months? Well, it's been a very exciting time for me and my businesses. I, I run community businesses. I, uh, we've got a community bike shop, which is called Onya, Onya Bike, uh, which was a famous phrase from a, a conservative uh, politician in the 1970s. Um, and we decided to steal that phrase and turn it into something completely different. And I'll put a link up to it there so you can all go visit the, the Facebook page. And what we do is we take old bicycles that no one wants and we fix them and then we sell them so these old bicycles that would have gone to landfill get uh, get a second life okay so we're going against the growth coming down the jawline we're going up the face and the other business we've started is a, is a cafe it's a vegetarian cafe this is all uh, in the same same block of shops in Kensington and Holt Road and we run a um, volunteer managed cafe called the Croissant of Inequality uh, at some point I'll tell you why it's called the Croissant of Inequality I don't want to do it at the moment might, might take too long and um, we serve nice food, we serve lovely coffee, we serve teas we serve snacks, cakes we also serve something called a Scouse pie, which is something I've invented. If you don't know what Scouse is, it's a local local delicacy made out of potatoes, carrots, uh, onions, leek, and stock. Uh, you can have meat in it as well, but we don't. And um, I've decided that we need to, to tell the world about what we do in Liverpool by producing a Scouse pie, give them some to eat. So we do these individual Scouse pies. We have it in Liverpool. Look us up, we are on Google Maps, and again, that's the Facebook page. Um, and it's a very exciting place, people come along, people have some food. People talk to each other, people chat, so it's become a real community venue in the four months that it's been open. And, uh, what else? Well, loads really. There's, there's too much to sort of talk about in one video, so we'll, we'll be back shortly. Uh, so, there you go, that's the three pass shave. And in order to show you how close that shave is, and you can see when you get used to it, you can do other things as well. You can talk, you can probably make a cup of tea or juggle or something like that while you're making money shaving. Now, you can see probably that that is quite a close shave. Uh, there's a few little roughy bits there, which which I'll just polish off. You can probably hear them actually. Hang on, tighten the blade up. You also notice there's no nicks. And what I always like to do is I wash the face down with a bit of water and then I use some uh, alcohol based cologne. This is Alper Clove, which is a lovely smell. It's a lovely medicated smell. Rub it on both hands, rub it in, 
and then slowly rub it into the face. Takes all the sting out the shave. Stings momentarily when you apply it. And I also like to rub a little bit on the forehead. And then because it's alcohol, it evaporates really quickly, which means you end up with a dry face. And once the face is, once the face is dry, you can apply a cream. In this case, it's the Arco Shave Cream with the beeswax. So a little blob of that is enough to the whole face. And what I tend to do is just blob it around the face. Neck hair is usually quite sensitive. And then rub it in. If I have the Arco Cream, because it's beeswax, it takes a lot of rubbing in. You get quite a good face massage during the process. Right. Now I need to put my glasses on to make sure I've got no white streaks down my neck. So I always go into work covered in white streaks. Okay, no. Face feels fantastic. Face feels really clean. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, leave some comments, leave some questions. If you need to find out more about the Facebook group, then it's all going to be there. Okay, if you want to contact me, uh, then by all means email me there. And you can email me to buy products, sell razors, sell the creams, sell the clones, sell the scuttles. Uh, and um, I can do you a good deal on them if we do it off Facebook, uh, sorry, off eBay. Uh, thanks very much for watching. It's been a great pleasure doing this. Uh, and I've forgotten how, how exciting it is doing these, actually. And it wasn't until... I got all this lovely feedback off the last one that I realised that I, I was, something was missing out of my life and it was big shave videos. So carry on shaving, carry on enjoying shaving, carry on developing your own technique because your technique will invariably be different to my technique. And um, I hope you understood everything I said because my Scouse accent's a bit thick and I really don't understand how some people in rural parts of America understand what I'm saying, but apparently they do. So, uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, it's 12 minutes, 35 seconds out of your life, you'll never get back. Thanks very much, Steve Farragher, big shave, Liverpool. Goodbye.